Welcome you to another video in the 100 film project. Um, the video today is uh, about a film that I saw recently called Oppenheimer. I was uh, fortunate enough to see this in the IMAX 70mm uh, version at a theater here in Mississauga. And uh, one of the things I really liked about this film was uh, Christopher Nolan's expansive mind in terms of how he takes one historical moment and creates helps us go into the minds of the people living through that historical moment and really understand what were the things that motivated them to make those decisions so the central character in this particular movie um, is uh, j robert oppenheimer he's a physicist and uh, he was responsible for the testing and creation of the nuclear bomb um, that was eventually uh, used uh, by America against um, the Japanese um, at the end of World War II. And uh, in the movie, you really understand how he constantly grapples with this tension uh, with his responsibility to doing science and... Um, the moral dilemma of understanding the implications of the practical application of his research in a real world context, especially with the creation of uh, that nuclear weapon. Um, you really understand how his psychology changes through the movie, but um, at the end of the day, he strongly believed that he had a responsibility to do the science um, and to do it um, to the best of his abilities and how people use the science was not in his hand and uh, it's that question that re-emerges several times through this film um, I think the acting is brilliant uh, really well cast and if you've been a fan of Christopher Nolan's films you will know that music and cinematography is a big part of his uh, idea of filmmaking you know so it was amazing seeing it in that 70mm IMAX screen, you know, with um, the images so large, um, the sounds really hitting you. It was almost like I was there when that project was happening, you know. And I think another thing I realized from this film is that science is a large collective effort. It was not just Oppenheimer, but... It was hundreds and thousands of people that had to do research and test uh, things to make that dream possible. So science is a really massive collective effort. And I think Nolan does a good job for creating that sense of awe in terms of how humans have created some amazing scientific achievements um, by working together. So... Yep, it's a great film. Um, it's three hours long, so you do have to be interested in themes related to the world war. And, you know, if you are passionate about science as well, that's going to help. So, yep. Thank you for listening to this review.